So here we have a data set which has the 2017 annual salary. We can see that it has 100 uh, rows of data. And on the top first row, you can see that it has the column headers. Now we're going to use this data set to create a histogram using the data analysis tool pack in Excel. Before we do that, it's best to sort it. So we're going to click on the sort and filter option and sort it. So this is our lowest value and this is our highest value. Next, we're calculating the range and we can do this easily in Excel by subtracting our highest value minus the lowest value by subtracting the lowest value from the highest value. Next, we're also going to count the number of values in our data set. And we can do this using the count function. Okay, so I can see that it has 99 values. determine the number of classes, we can reuse this rule called 2 to the power of k more than or equal to n. So again, n refers to the number of values. So 2 to the power of k has to be equal to or more than 99. So in our data set, if we decide to use 2 to the power of 6, We are simply multiplying 2 6 times. So 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. 8 times 2 is 16. 16 times 2 is 32. And 32 times 6 is 64. So 64 is not a good value to use in our case. If we go up to 7, we get 128. Therefore, we can set our number of classes as 7. So that's how easily we can determine the number of classes for our data set. So as you guys know, in frequency distribution, you need to know the number of classes. You need to know how many values fall within each class. So you need to have your frequency. So you have to have a class column and a frequency column. So next we need to determine the class interval. This is the width of your class. So we know we have seven classes. Now in order to determine the distance between the uh, lower limit and the upper limit in your class, you need to know what class interval to use. So the rule that you can use here is um, you want it to be an easy number to remember, like multiples of 10, 100, thousands. Um, here, the rule is first you use your range, which is your highest value minus your lowest value, and you divide it by the number of classes. So the number of classes here we have is 7. So when you do that, you get 19,216.77.
Now to make it easier, we're going to round it up to 20,000. Thus, you see me building our class um, interval here now. The lowest number I started from is 10,000 because as you can see in our data set, the lowest value is 12,480. So we need to include that in our first class. Therefore, I'm starting with 10,000 and adding 20,000, and then it goes up to 30,000. So I'm doing that for all the seven classes. Now, once the class interval is built, you also want to make sure that the lowest value and the highest value both get included in your class. So in order to build our histogram uh, using the data analysis tool back in Excel, we need to create something called bins. Bin is basically the um, created by looking at the upper limit in each one of the classes we have. So in our first class, we have 30,000 as our upper limit. So we're going to create our bin and the number is going to be 29,999. We're doing the same for all the classes. So for the second class, the upper limit is 50,000. Therefore, our bin is 49,999. So just one number short. Next, you're going to click on the Data tab and click on the Data Analysis. OK, so going back to the Data Analysis tool pack, clicking on Histogram. Just making sure that all the input range um, cell ranges are correct. So we are selecting the annual salary data set. Make sure you don't include additional rows. And for the bin range, we're selecting the bins we created. Output range, again, this is the place where you want the results to be displayed. And this time, make sure all the uh, three options are selected. So here in our results, you can see our histogram has been created. This is actually a Pareto chart. Okay, so as we talked about um, this before, in order to build our frequency distribution, you need the class width, the class interval, and you need the frequency column which um, counts all the values um, where they fall within each um, class. So you can paste your table here now. You can give it a nice title as well, calling it classes and frequency. Now if you want, you can also include your cumulative uh, percent, which was generated in the results. Next, simply drag your Pareto chart next to your table. Yes, you can format it and give it a nice grid line. So here you can see that the blue legend corresponds to your frequency. And the cumulative percent is also displayed. This is an example of a Pareto chart. Next, we're going to um, create just a very simple histogram in Excel. Here you can change your title, call it salary. You can also change the horizontal axis title and call it classes.
Okay, so here we're going to take our classes column and the frequency column and make a very simple histogram. So after you have your data selected, you're going to click on the insert tab, go to the chart section and select 2D column. Okay, so for a histogram, we know that there are no gaps in between the columns. So in order to reduce the gaps, you're going to click on one of the columns, um, right click on it. and select Format Data Series. Now on the right hand side where you see gap width, you're going to reduce it to 0%. Okay, there you go. Now you can also change this title. And if you want to insert vertical axis titles and horizontal axis titles, you will need to click on the chart design toolbox on the left hand side and select axis titles primary horizontal and again primary vertical Okay, so there you go, it's done. So this is your histogram created in Excel.